California State Fair is in full swing out at Cal Expo. This is a live look at the festivities from Live Copter 3 tonight. What you don't see from the air, though, or maybe even the ground, are the extraordinary measures being taken to keep you and your kids safe. That's because a lot of it's happening before you even get to the fairgrounds. New here at 6, a KCRA 3 exclusive. The California State Fair, of course, known for all the rides and foods and exhibits, it can also draw out criminals. And it was the focus of a joint operation led by the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department. And Claire Dewan has the behind the scenes look in this KCRA 3 exclusive. This year's week long operation called Big Fun was planned for months. For the first time, they used license plate technology to nab criminals all around the fair hidden in plain sight. The California State Fair is an annual tradition for families who enjoy the foods, the rides, winner, winner, winner. This win. and the games. But what fairgoers don't know is another annual event happening right outside these gates an undercover operation. Take a close look. On top of these two vehicles and those at other entrances are mounted cameras. They capture license plates and send data to laptops inside where detectives monitor the people going into the fair. As long as we're getting plates in that lane and this lane, we're good to go. The license plate numbers are matched up against an extensive criminal history database. That's a gang member hit. So detectives know who's driving when a car is flagged from those with revoked licenses <laughs> to gang members to convicted sex offenders. This allows us to um, find them in the parking lot, make contact with them, and um, introduce ourselves if they're not in violation of any laws um, or if they are in violation of the law uh, to remove them without them even going into the state fair. But detectives are not just monitoring the parking lot. They're also on the lookout for lawbreakers around Cal Expo. We're kind of targeting those vehicles to see if maybe some of the people that don't want to be detected park over here and walk in. For these roving detectives, it's constant movement and nonstop work. Chasing the cars flagged by their license plate readers. Gang 2-3, we'll head that way from uh, Alt Arden. And the violations run the gamut. This man was wanted for a DUI warrant without bail and was taken away to jail. Hey, big guy, where are you going right now? Heading to the fair. You're, you're going to the fair? And this man was biking to the fair on the wrong side of the street. Anything in the bag? Not supposed to have? No. But inside his red backpack is a pound of marijuana and a violation of his parole. So, what are you doing with all that weed? I'm just smoking it. A whole bag? Yeah. It's just grass, though. Yeah. Detectives pull over this driver. No pistols on you or nothing, man. For false registration tags and discover his suspended license. That prompts a thorough search of his car. There's just a bite bag in here, like basically indicative of like carrying narcotics in a package. And his history would suggest that. I know for sure they're not going to find anything. I'm not on no gang profile. I don't gang bang. And these three were stopped for expired registration. But inside their car, a BB gun that looks real. And they conducted a search of the trunk and located this firearm here, which is a 22 uh, rifle. Which they confiscated because it has no serial number. Because I feel like you're not being honest with me right now. Detectives have conducted similar operations in previous years, but instead of around the fair and here in the parking lot, they did it inside the fair, but it was much less effective. Three years and just one arrest. And the act of parolee. Without the help of license plate technology. Having a um, you know 360 degree situational awareness of uh, who's coming in um, and what they're all about. And that awareness helped them zero in on the questionable activity of more than 50 people. That led to 19 arrests, including the people here. Four citations and two stolen vehicles. Stay four, we're going to be stopping them. But detectives say what's just as important are dozens of people they made contact with who are allowed inside the fair, like gang members or certain sex offenders. And just to let them know uh, that, hey, we're out here, um, enjoy the fair, but just, just know that we're out here. Watching inside as well as out here, one license plate scan at a time.
This operation was carried out with the uh, co cooperation of state fair organizers. In all, 120,000 license plates were scanned. Wow. Detectives say in the event they discover someone committed a crime at the fair, they can go back and use all the data they have. Hmm. It's really interesting to watch the technology at work. It really does. All right, Claire, thanks.